Hi all you are watching Simulink tutorial and today we are going to see what super state is and what's the use of it so if you simulate any state flow design you will observe that by default state flow finishes updating when a transition is made or when it knows that there is no valid transition to be made due to this behavior it restricts a chart from making multiple transitions in one update of the chart so when super state semantics enabled it updates chart only when there is no further valid transition to be made so it allows you to take multiple steps in a single chart update so let's see the model so here i have two charts having same input signal and same logic inside so i'm going to explain what the chart logic is doing so you can see here that by default the state is state 1 so at the initialization the chart enters at default state that is state 1 and at that time the output is 1 then it checks for the input if it is greater than 5 then it enters state 2 and at that time the output is 2 then it checks for if input is greater than 10 if it is greater than 10 then it enters the state 3 and output is 3 then if input is less than or equal to 10 it goes back to state 2 and if input is less than or equal to 5 it goes back to state 1 so that's how the logic is now consider a scenario where it is in state 1 and input is 20 that is greater than 10 then the question arises whether it should go in state 2 or state 3 so as per the logic it goes to state 2 but still it is greater than 10 but it stays in state 2 and waits for the next input signal to check conditions so even though state 3 was a valid state it stayed in state 2 due to single step in one update so to enable super state you have to right click in the model in an empty space and go to properties and check this enable super step semantics condition so the condition is enabled in the second chart you can see here enable super state semantics is checked so let's check what difference is given in the output with this two state charts so you can see here by default the chart enters at default state and hence the output of both the state charts is 1 then the input signal is greater than 5 at that time the output of both the charts is 2 then it is less than 5 then the output is 1 in both the cases then the input is greater than 10 the disabled one chart has output 2 that is it just goes from state 1 to state 2 but in case of the super state semantics enable chart it goes from state 1 to state 2 and state 3 and it updates the output so it gives the output as 3 then again the input is greater than 10 at that time the first chart gives the output 3 and the second chart gives output 3 so you can see the difference of the output in the previous case how it works that is the second chart takes multiple steps and updates the output when there is no further valid transition so that's how the super step semantics enabled is useful so that's all for this video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning